Hello everyone, we will continue the topic debugging and in this video we will cover how you can go for insert, edit and delete the records of database tables using the debugging. Before I will start with this video, again, never, never do this in quality and production system. We should never, never go for database operations using the debugging in the quality and production system. Otherwise, it will be a huge escalation. Now, why, why we are covering this particular thing or particular topic? So that a bad person gets more flexibility. A bad person can deliver the deliverables in the quicker manner. Sometimes in the development system, we need to deliver or we need to check something in very quicker manner. At that time, this feature will help you a lot. Suppose what I will do, I will take a requirement and then I will explain you how, how you can use that debugging in that development system for the database operation. Suppose I will go for a sample program. So for this sample program, the input is date of joining. Based upon this input, we are fetching data from this employee table and we are displaying. It's a sample program. Anyways, the motto of this video is to become you familiar with the database operation using the debugging. Suppose I am running this particular program. By default, system date is coming as date of joining and I am going for execute. Currently, no output is coming from the program. Why no output is coming from the program? Because in the database table, whatever the existing records are there, for that, the date of joining is not system date. It means program will not give the output, but I want to be sure that my program is working fine. So because I want to deliver this program, in a quicker manner, I want to give the delivery of this particular program, but I want to be sure that this program is working fine. But table do not have the expected data. So what is one option? You can develop an update program. That update program will update the date of joining. Then you can check the output of the program. Anyways, what you are doing? Unnecessary, you are creating an update program because that is not required at all. Just to make sure that your program is working fine, you will develop another program. So at that time, to make sure that your program is working fine, with the help of debugging, you can update the data and you can check the output of the program. Many times a BAP consultant, yes, use this in the development system so that they can make sure that whatever they are doing is fine or not. Suppose how, how you can update. Suppose I want to update the date of joining for these records. Suppose firstly, I will show you for one record, then I will show you for multiple records also. So what you can do, simply, simply go to SC11 transaction code. And ABAP consultants widely, widely use this in the development system because sometimes they do not have time to develop, develop unnecessary programs. So they will go for some test data using that debugging and they will check the output of their programs. Suppose I will go for contents of that table. So we have three records into this table. Suppose I want to update that date of joining. So what you can do, just select this record. After selecting the record, display this record. Firstly, I'm going for single record. Display this record. Now you all know how you can enter into that debugging mode using slash H. So do slash H. You can see we are getting a message debugging switched on. Click on to this OK button or enter button. Once you click on to enter, it will go into that debugging mode. 
And now the important thing will come, how you can do. Uh, once you enter into that debugging mode, click on to code. Click on to code. Has, have you seen as of now, what is the value of code? Show. Show means it is displaying the record as of now. Because when we selected the record, it is displaying the record. And SAP has given a clear documentation. If you want to change the record, the value of code will be added. If you want to insert the record, value of code will be INSR. If you want to delete the record, value of code will be DELE. Suppose as of now, we need to change the record. We need to edit the record. So how you can do? Just go for this button. You all know how you can change the contents of variable. Click on to this. Put edit in capital. It's a humble request because so many times people ask, I'm unable to do because you are not putting edit in capital. System is checking for edit in capital. Press enter. Do not forget to press enter. This is the second mistake which people will do. Now simply do F8. Once you do F8, have you seen this record opened in the change board? Now change that date to today's date. Suppose I will change that date. This is our today's date. I will go for 18th July is today's date. I will just go for 18th July. Now do not forget to save that record. I will save that. Now I will go to back button. Now, once I will refresh, have you seen date of joining changes? So this is the way how you can change for the testing purpose. Suppose you want to update the multiple records. Just select. Now, after selecting, click on to display. Now, people will say, now I'm only able to see one record. Yes, it will show you second record also. Have you seen you are getting one extra button here, next entry. Previously, we have only, only added the one record. So they, this button was not there. Now, suppose if I will go for slash H. Firstly, I will change the second record. I will go for enter. Now, I will simply, simply change it to edit. I will press enter. I will go for F8. Now I will change the date of the second record. Save. Now there's no need to come back again because we selected the two records. So once we click here, it will automatically take us to employee ID 3. If I will click here, next end. Now we have the employee ID 3. Now you can change that date. There's no need to go into debugging mode again. Because we selected the multiple records and yes, we put code is equal to edit. So it is working for multiple records. I will go for save. You can check the previous record also. This is our previous record and this is our next record. Now, if I will go to back button and I will refresh, you can see that date change. Now I can check the output of my program. So if I will go for my program, now I will be confirmed that my program is working fine. So this is the way how this ABAP consultant get more flexibility because you know debugging. You can do each and everything with the help of debugging. Suppose this is all about editing the record. Suppose the table has unnecessary record in the development system and that is hampering you to check the output. So you can delete a record also. Suppose I will delete this third record. How you can just select, go for display. You can go to debugging mode through slash. Each. Go for OK. Now you all know whenever you want to delete, but you need to put D-E-L-E, D-E-L-E, capital letters, press enter. Now, once you go for F8, now there is the option to delete entry, delete. The same database record deleted. If I will refresh, you can see we have two records. Now, suppose if you want to go for insert, 
So what you can do, select the record, go for display, go for slash H, go for OK. Now, you, whenever you want to go for insert, what is the value? INSR. Do enter. Now, whenever you will go for OK, now you all know. See, just trip. See, whenever we did the delete, whenever we did the edit, whenever we edit, edit, we are not able to change the primary key because we cannot change the primary key. We can only change the non primary key column. When we did the delete, anyways, we are deleting the full record. Now, whenever we are inserting, yes, we can insert the new primary key. Suppose I will go for employee ID 3. I will go for save. Now, if I will go for back button, you can see we have the three records in the database table. Yes, a back consultant use this feature in the projects a lot because they want more flexibility. They will not waste their time in creating the unnecessary programs and they want to check the output. They want to go for testing at that point of time. They will use all these things and they will get the more flexibility. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I showed you how you can use debugging to insert, edit, and delete the records of a database table. Again, most important point, never, never try this even in quality and production system if you have the rights. Otherwise, it will lead to a huge escalation because we are never, never to allowed to do anything with the database tables data. Now, after that, I showed you that we took the scenario. Suppose I have a program. That program is displaying the output based upon system data. But table do not have such data. So in that case, what is the option? You can develop a program that you can update the date of database records, whatever the existing records are there and you can check the output. But why unnecessary you will waste your time in developing a program that is not that is of no use at all. So at that time use debugging, change the records of database table. So what you can do, you can select single record, you can select multiple records, simply display those records, go for slash H, go for OK, you will be able to see the code if you want to delete the record, the value will be D-E-L-E. -E. If you want to edit the record, value is edit. If you want to this, uh, insert the record, value is I and S R. Just make sure you will put in the capital letters and you will put enter. After that, you can go for database operation. But yes, again, again, important. Never, never use this in quality and production. The major motto is you can get the more flexibility. So that's it in this video. Thank you.